Welcome back to WordPress. So today we're going to take a look at some pages or really just the gallery page. And this is going to stem us into plugins, but let's take a look at the page first. So we're going to go to page and click on all pages. So pages are basically when you have a menu and you click on the menu, you go to a specific page a lot of the time. These are your these are your pages. And so since we're using a demo, it's created some demo pages. Some of these are active and some of them aren't active. But we are going to go into the gallery. So I'm going to hit edit. And this is our gallery page. So what we have here is basically we're creating a photography website. And we are assuming these are our images that we love and we want to display on this website. So what I'm going to do is actually come in here and we're going to hit preview and see how this gallery works. So I'm going to hit preview. So this is our web page with our gallery. And so the way this is working is we have some thumbnails in some different three different columns. Now this information can be changed if I want it to be four columns or two columns or one column or I want larger thumbnails. All this can be changed. But I want to show you how this gallery kind of works. So let's say I like this image and I click on this image. It, it almost goes to like a, a blog sort of a page which is kind of weird. And then if you click on it, you get the image. The problem with this gallery is there's no way to look at multiple images and kind of scroll through in some sort of a light box manner, which is really, really odd. So I'm not a huge fan of this gallery. So we can come in here and I can click edit. And then here I can say, instead of going to an attachment page, which was that blog style page, I wanna go right to the media file. And we're going to change this to five. Well, we'll change it to four, but we're going to make our thumbnail size medium and we're going to update that gallery. And then we're going to hit preview again and take a look at that. So now you can see our images are all bigger. And when I click on an image, it goes right over here to just basically the full size preview of the image. But there's no way to scroll through the images, which is really odd. For a photography website as to why you would want to do something like that so I'm not an actual fan of this gallery now just because you have a demo content and things laid out doesn't mean you can't go in and change them if you don't like them so in this case I don't like this plugin there's also a few other plugins that I know I'm gonna need and I want to add to this website so what we're gonna do is go to plugins and we're going to put add new and this is going to send us over to WordPress where they have all their plugins available you can come over here and type in photo gallery which is already coming up and it's going to give me a display of different photo galleries that are available for WordPress so as I scroll down here, there's all kinds of different galleries. You can see how many active installations or how many people have actually used stuff. You can go through and look at each one of these. Most of them are going to have basically demos. So you can go into the demo and figure out how this gallery works. If I wanted to see the masonry gallery, I could come in here and click on this masonry gallery and it's going to show me how the masonry gallery works so I can click on this image and then I get this image and then notice we get this little slider which is exactly what I want just like most things in WordPress remember there's going to be a basic free version and a lot of times you're going to get paid versions for some of this stuff so you're going to have limited access as to what you can do with it so this one has 300,000 that's a lot we have this WordPress gallery plugin, which I probably would have used, but it doesn't work with my version. It's not working with my version of WordPress, which is kind of odd, and I couldn't figure out why, saying I didn't have enough cash to display it. So what we're going to do is just download a gallery. So we're going to go ahead and pick this Robo Gallery for no real reason, just because it's sitting right here. 
I could easily pick this mobile gallery, but it says, notice, Robo Gallery is an advanced responsive photo gallery plugin, which is good. It's going to make sure it's responsive on our site. Click install, and it's going to install that gallery plugin. Once it's installed, I'm going to activate it so we have the ability to use it. It's gone right back over to, and this is kind of their information site. Notice they're trying to sell you on the pro version, but it's telling you what it does, how it does it, blah, 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 blah. And over here, it's kind of its separate little entity, and it has some settings and add-ons and sortings and all kinds of information that you can get used. So basically, you're going to add a gallery, and then you can manage your galleries. But we'll come back to that because we actually want to get a, another plug in here. So we're going to go to Add New. One that I want to have right now, so as I'm working on my pages, I don't have to come back into my pages and do this. And this is what's called search engine optimization. So I'm going to type in SEO. Search engine optimization is basically how web pages get read and found. With search engine optimization, you'll see with this plugin, it's going to add some data fields. We are going to put in titles, keywords, and descriptions. Depending on what you put in there, that's what Google or any sort of analytics is reading about your web page to know what that web page or that specific page is about or that single post. And it remembers that. And so when someone wants to search for it, it says, hey, this guy has that information. I'll send you to him. Now, there's two main ones that basically are used today. Yoast and all-in-one SEO pack. I've used both. I think I prefer Yoast a little bit better. And just like anything, the, there's a free version and a paid version. So we're going to add Yoast. And I'm going to go ahead and click Install. And then we're going to go ahead and activate that after this. Now there's more stuff you need to do as far as settings for analytics. There's a, probably a Google Analytics plugin that we could add. But we'll get into that later when we get in more in depth in how things get found. So we can see down here, here's our Yoast SEO and our new gallery. So if we go back to pages and I click on the edit for the gallery, you now see Yoast automatically gets loaded into this. And so this is the SEO part of the gallery. This little snippet preview would be like, hey, if you went and searched on Google for something, this is showing what that search would, would look like. So you have a focus key phrase, which would be a word, and this word should usually be repeated in your title. You want to edit all this. Basically, you're going to go in here to edit snippet. So right here, we're going to add a slug or really sort of a title. So what is this about? This is a gallery. So that's our word. But we want to make sure this is very descriptive as far as what we're searching for. So if you were doing something on beagles, you should put beagle. It would make more sense. And then you make sure when you do your description of what the page is about, that you have beagle in there and maybe a couple times. It's all very important when you're doing this stuff and then you're going to have your key phrases information down there. The way Yoast kind of does this weird thing, notice it's kind of uh, orange right now. It will eventually change colors when it thinks you, if you did it bad, it will tell you you did it bad. If you did it good, it will tell you you did it good. You're trying to make it so it's a happy plug-in. We're going to go back to this gallery. So what we have here is we don't like this type of gallery. So we want to replace this page or this gallery with something new, which is Robo Gallery. So we're going to go up here and put Add New Gallery in Gallery Images. We will just call this Photo Gallery. That way it's kind of generic and whatever images I put in here are going to be fine. 
notice we have this Yoast SEO works into here. So I could definitely come in here, change this information and add stuff, which is going to be important. Put photo gallery, which is good. And then I can put my learn. You want to do more than this. I'm not going to be putting enough information in here, but WordPress. Photo gallery. Early in the morning, can't type. Usually you want, I think it's like about 150 to 180 characters. So right now it's unhappy. And then if we wanted to add our key phrase, we could do that too. So we could put gallery. So we're good. That, that looks good. Scroll down past that. And now we're starting to get into the information for this robo gallery. So the first thing here is this cache. And basically, if you enable this, basically what cache does is, is remember your photos for a while. If you go to the same site like four or five times, it doesn't have to keep uploading all the image data. So it's, it's remembering that data. You have gallery size options. We can, right now we're a hundredth as far as our width or percent. If we want to add padding and that is like space around. So this little area in here would be padding, you know, space around the gallery. Thumbs options. So I have medium selected right now. If we want to do a custom ratio, like a specific ratio, like one by three, we could do that. So any of this information that you'd want to change, large, full, we're just going to do medium instead of thumbnail. But we could do thumbnail or we could do medium. We're not going to pick that many images, so we'll go with medium. Thumbs view options. So basically you're changing some information here. Hover options, clickable thumbnails on. So yes, we want clickable thumbnails. Hover mode, no hover for mobile, off. Looks like this is only available in the pro version. So even if we wanted it, it's not going to work right now. So this is information on like link buttons and stuff. It looks like a lot of this stuff is pro. We're just going to leave a lot of this as is. So you can go through here and anything that you might want to change. There's a Polaroid style. And we're scrolling down and basically we get to the end of kind of stuff that it can do. So we're good. I'm not going to man really bother with kind of that stuff right now. I'm going to hit come up here to manage images. And this is where it's going to allow us to put images or photos in here. So we'll just use some of these ones that were already demo loaded in. As all I have to do is simply click on them. And we'll just click a few. That looks good. And then we're going to hit add to gallery. Make sure once again you, fi you fill out that SEO information. And then we put update gallery. Now the way this gallery works is it actually does create its own page in the robo gallery, but it also has something called short code. And so the short code is going to allow us to insert it into a specific page if we want to. So I'm going to hit publish so that it can get everything set up and ready to go. Right down here, it says gallery short code. So we're going to want to copy that. I'm going to hit copy. Looks like you can create a post from this, but we're not going to create a post. We're going to actually um, add it to that gallery page. So I'm going to come back down here to pages and hit all pages. We're going to go to a gallery. And the first time I do this, I'm just going to add this to the gallery and keep the one gallery above it and then my gallery below it. And then I'm going to actually delete this gallery we haven't really gone over this yet but the way wordpress works now in wordpress 5 is they have something called blocks now you can still work in the classic mode but if you want to add a block or add something new to your website you you click on this so we want to add some short code so i'm going to type in that short code and i just command v and pasted that in and then i'm going to hit update and that's all I have to do to add that gallery. This is referring to the gallery that we created. Once that's done, I'm going to hit preview. And so we're going to see their gallery and then right below it, our gallery, the one that we created using this new robo. So here's the old gallery. And then down here, and these are pretty big thumbnails, but 
we have our gallery. Click on this, and now you're going to see we get this cool slider, which is exactly what we want. Is it the greatest slider in the world? Doesn't matter. It's a slider. We can scroll through and see our images. As a photographer, this is what we want. So we're going to be happy with that. So I'm going to actually go back here. I'm going to click on this. I wanted to see if you could get rid of it like that. We're just going to hit, come on. We want you to delete. There we go. You're gone. So that's been deleted. We're going to hit update. And once again, we're going to hit preview. And bam, just like that, our gallery is now this new Robo Gallery. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these images. They're actually medium, but they're really huge. You can add as many blocks as you want to a gallery. So if you wanted to put something below this gallery, it's possible. The way blocks work are you get this little plus, add a block. This is just like making it easy to, to add information. So you're saying, below this gallery, I want to add a paragraph, a heading, a quote, audio, a list, an image. You have these common blocks, which are things, I guess, that you would use over and over again. Scroll down. Formatting. So if I wanted to add any of this information, I could do that. Layout elements, a button, a page break, a separator. So I'll put a separator in just for the fun of it. Then we'll hit update. Then we'll hit preview. And if we scroll down, you can see the little line. We've added sort of that page break or end to that page. So I think we're going to start with this right now. And we're going to be happy with that page. So we're going to go back here to gallery. And I'm going to leave this as gallery. You have your option to work on a block, which is this. Or if the whole document is something you want to work at, we can work at the whole document. If you create a page from scratch, this theme came with a variety of templates. Now, there's pretty much labeled. There's a default template, which probably is has nothing really to it, an About Us template. And these are all configured so that the way your page is viewed is going to be a little bit different. Now, this is a gallery template, so we're just going to go ahead and leave that. Parent page, meaning that it's a... It's, it's a part of another page we're not going to worry about that right here we have permalink so the permalink is a gallery so when you would go into the menu instead of actually having the URL the HTTP everything that would go to this page it's just gallery we're using a permalink which is just this little part right here to send you to the page it has no featured images well, that's because we have images. Featured image is kind of like, it. one thing it does is it, it will set, save it as the main image. And a lot of times if you, for SEO, it will use that image as the image that's displayed on Facebook or whatever you're searching for. So if you search on Google and you have a, a featured image located, if there's an image displayed on that search, it's going to be that featured image. So a lot of times you will be adding featured image, but I don't want to have like an image and then the gallery. It makes no sense. So we're going to get rid of that. And the page attributes are basically what we just did right here. We have filled out, well, assuming that we've done a good job and we've come in here and we're going to edit this and we have gallery and we put our metadata in, even though I don't have it in, that's okay because we're not actually going to read it. I don't want to spend the time, but you would make sure that you filled all this information out. And once you're done, you would hit update to save all that. And this page is now done. So I'm going to click back just on the gallery page here. So we can have something to end on. Today we have decided that we didn't like the gallery that we initially had. We have gone to plugins and I've showed you how to update plugins.
that's basically how you do that. I've showed you how to add some search engine optimization. And if you don't know what search engine optimization is and you're creating a web page, start going to YouTube and do some searches and learn about it. Because if you want your page to be found and you don't use SEO, you're basically going to be screwed and no one's going to ever find your page. There's all kinds of little things that you need to do to get your page found you need to have robots text you need to have a site map you need to have SEO you need to have either Google or Bing analytics you can create a webmaster page on Google and Bing all this stuff is important it might sound foreign to you but it's all really easy to do like there's a plugin for a site map and there's probably a plugin for robots text all that stuff is easy to do there's all kinds of little things to get your Google Analytics code it's just a number and you plug it into your website and it refers back to Google so it knows where your page is and to actually search on it if you don't tell Google that you're there it won't know so there's all kinds of different things so hopefully this has been helpful today if you have any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe